Welcome or welcome back I'm an e-help at C Square. In this example, we have a sickle. And they ask us to transform this sickle using this rule. And this rule is nothing else than a translation. Translation. Okay, whenever you see something like that, you should recognize that is a translation. And then we need to dilate by a scale factor of two. What is the equation of the sickle after the dilation? Okay, so let's try to approach this a little bit graphically, at least a part. Oh, and by the way, I have here a statement which says rigid and non rigid transformation. Right? We have a translation and we have a dilation that is non rigid. Affect the center and the radius of the circle. Right? And what they ask us first of all is to move one left and one down. This will be the new center. I will call it A prime. Right? And then dilate it by a scale factor of two. Right? So the original radius, let me do this first. The original radius, you take a look, is two. That one is to be enlarged, right? Because it is a scale factor of two. So the original radius is two. The new radius will be two times two, right? This, because the radius is two and the scale factor is two, we end up with four. Center avenue sickle. So right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna draw a sickle here that has a radius of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, somewhere here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the new sickle, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't do a good job here. But how do you find the equation? And if you want this graphical approach, try to get the equation. Let's go back to, to this uh, original picture. That equation is going to be what? X minus, right? This is 4 squared plus y minus, this is 3, 3 squared. And now let's get the radius. The radius, like I said before, is 2, 2 squared. So this is the question of this given circle. Now this circle needs to be moved one left one down so that will be negative four one left right if you remember uh, i'm sorry positive four right this is positive four one left that means minus right so that will be three x minus three squared and then also is move one down, if you remember, right here, right? So the same kind of math, we have three, that is the y coordinate of point A, minus one, because you move one down, that will be two, plus y minus two squared. And this radius of two is double because the scale factor of two, so we have four squared. So we, we get the equation of the new sequel, x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 16. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help. Thank you.